Friday. And when we get to the synagogue, there will be more programs. Um, it was hard to know how many to bring to this particular event, so please feel free to share when it comes time for the responsive reading. I am very pleased and honored to be able to ask Rabbi David Werb to start this whole ceremony. Oh, thank you, Rabbi Gauss. Oh, it's a great pleasure to be here today, and it's certainly very illuminating to begin our ceremony right here at the Meditation Garden. This is certainly emblematic of our situation as a congregation. This has been the last remnant of Temple Beth Amuna for the past two years, and I think that it's very symbolic that we begin the dedication of our new home, our new building, right here at our meditation garden. The prophet Isaiah has spoken quite elegantly in the eloquently in the Torah about the righteous remnant of the Jewish people that has had to endure and would endure uh, the various difficulties and challenges and destructions that our people as a whole has done during these past 2,000 years or more. And we, members of Temple Beth Amuna, have endured our own exigencies and difficulties uh, during the past two years. And now we too are the righteous remnant of our community. We're like the proverbial mythical phoenix rising from the ashes. This past Shabbat, we read in the Torah, Parshat Kitavo, and it begins with the words, when you are about to enter the land that God has promised us. And indeed, we too, as a congregation, are now about to enter the new synagogue that will house our congregation, Temple Bet Amunah. Temple Beth Amuna, the temple that is the house of faith. And we've all had that faith that eventually we would be renewed, that we would come back together again and try to reunite and rebuild our congregation and community. And so today our dream is being fulfilled and we are all a part of it. I'd like to welcome everybody who has come here today from near and far, and especially I'd like to welcome my grandson Max, Max Gross, who escaped the wrath of Hurricane Ida in Florida. Pardon? Irma, whatever her name is. Ida Irma. <laughs> and also Sandy Mendelson, uh, who's here and also barely escaped. Uh, she was president of our sisterhood for many years. And uh, we pray for the well being of all those who left behind in Florida. And we hope that they will be safe. And we have so many friends members and former members of our temple, as well as our own friends and our own properties down there uh, that uh, we hope and pray uh, will come through safely. For all of us, we pray to God that he will watch over us and guard us and guide us in the days, months, and years that lie ahead. 
that he will help unite us once again as a community loyal to our faith, loyal to Temple Beth Amunah, the House of Faith, and we pray that God will be at our side and that we will be able to go from strength to strength in our worship of God and our faith in God and in our faith in one another. Amen. Amen. If you could please open up your programs for the responsive reading and join with me. Open unto us the gates of righteousness. We will enter them and praise the Lord. Goodly are your tents, O Jacob, your tabernacle of Israel. O Lord, I have ever loved the habitation of your house and the dwelling place of your glory. Come unto your tabernacle and worship at your footstool. Enter into God's gates with thanksgiving and into Adonai's courts with praise. Give thanks unto God and bless Adonai's name. Serve the Lord with gladness. Come before God with singing. And let us sing unto the Lord. Let us shout to the rock of our salvation. Let us approach God's presence with thanksgiving and joyfully sing hymns unto the Lord. Blessed is the person who comes in the name of the Lord. We bless you from the house of the Lord. Life is no straight and easy corridor along which we travel free and unhampered. But always, if we have faith, God will open a door for us, not perhaps one that we ourselves would have thought of, but one that will ultimately prove good for us. So we are now going to start the procession to our new home. I know some of us have parked in different parking lots, so we actually will have one tower going to one parking lot and one tower going to the other parking lot so that both will be covered. And we're going to be driving down to the entrance of Stonehill on Belmont Street, making a right turn and then a left turn onto Bristol, then a right turn onto Norfolk. There will be a police escort, but since we are in two different parking lots, I don't know where people might be in terms of that. And to, there is a curve on Norfolk Street. It is at that curve that we're going to be getting out and we are going to be starting the procession with music to go into our new building. When we reach the parking lot in front of our new building, we're going to be doing some dancing and singing and joyous celebration before we fix the mezuzah and enter the building. So if we can have the Torah holders start the procession also.
of all the hours of dedication and, and commitment that Dick Cohn and Alan Castelline has put in to make sure that the synagogue would be ready. They have the honor of cutting the ceremonial ribbon. I need a bigger scissors. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not sure the scissors are big enough. Turn. <laughs> I don't think you can have anything that's hard. Are you ready? Go. Baruch Ata Adonai Eloheinu Melech Olam Asher Kedushanu B'Mitzvotav V'Tzivanu Likboa Mizuzah Baruch Ata Adonai Eloheinu Melech Olam Shechianu V'Kiyamanu V'Gianu Lazman Hazer Yeah, at the head of the line. <laughs> you want to sit down? I'll wheel you. No, I'm not to that point yet. I'll hold my feet Traditional chant. 
standing for the Star Spangled Banner.
the Sergeant of Arms having declared a quorum is present, I now open nominations for president of the show. <laughs> We'll table it for now. <laughs> Welcome, distinguished guests, Senator Walter Timulty, Representative Claire Cronin, Senator Michael Brady, Easton Town Selectman Kevin McIntyre, and I'm told we're joined by other town selectmen. Thank you all for coming. Temple Bethamuna congregants, past, present, future guests and friends. On behalf of the Board of Directors of Temple Bethamuna, we welcome you to our new home and community. We are honored to have you all here to share this special day. In the movie Field of Dreams, Kevin Costner's character heard a spirited voice that repeated the phrase, if you build it, they will come. <laughs> when it became clear that our path of merging congregations with our friends at Temple Beth Am was not going to occur, we too heard that voice. If you build it, they will come. Fast forward through the many months of site visits, we landed here at our modern day Plymouth Drive Lock. <laughs> With every ship, there is a captain and a helmsman. Together, they are slowly, solely responsible to ensure that the ship travels successfully from port to port. We have been blessed to have two such navigators within our congregation who have helped secure this space and to complete these renovations. If you have followed us on Facebook, you have seen the weekly transformations from what was a business and a recording studio now into a house of worship, social activity, and community. Our ship has landed, it's cargo, our congregation has arrived. These two join the ranks of some very special people in our congregation's history that have provided a base and a foundation from which we will build our community. We are forever grateful for all that they have given us. It is my honor to acknowledge and thank our two navigators, Dickie Cohen and Alan Castellano. in the house. Our journey here has taken almost two years. When we left our Brockton location in October 2015, we moved to Randolph to join with the Temple Beth Am congregation. With the sale of the Beth Am building 18 months later, we moved our administrative offices to Ahavat Torah congregation in Stoughton and joined the combined congregations of Beth Am and Temple Beth Abraham in Canton for weekly ritual and holiday services. All three congregations opened their doors, their arms, and their hearts to our congregation while we remained in transition. Many thanks are due to Temple Am's past president, Mark Silver, and Rabbi David Grossman, Temple Beth Abraham's past president, Sam Evans, and Rabbi Nava Levine, and Ahavat Torah congregation's past president, Lee Elmowitz, and Rabbi Jonathan Hausman. Their friendship and understanding were a great source of stability for our congregation. Presidents and rabbis, if you are here, please stand and allow the Bethlehemuda congregation to show its appreciation. <laughs> As many of you know, NBC launched a new television drama series last year known as This Is Us. <laughs> the show profiles three siblings and their parents through various stages of their lives. And watching this show, I could not help but see the parallels with the many stages of our temple's life. So I'd like to borrow this meaningful theme and title for a few moments. It was the mid-1950s, and in a single family residence in Brockton, 
a few Jewish families gathered to share Shabbat and the holidays. This is us. Soon the families became numerous and outgrew their space. They found their first building on Cottage Street in Brockton and gave birth to a new synagogue, Temple Beth Amuna. This is us. The number of families continued to grow and it became clear that we needed larger space. We built a new building on Torrey Street, marched through the streets of Brockton with our Torahs and remained there for 44 years. This is us. I'm not carrying a Torah for another 44 years. <laughs> we continued to grow to over 400 families strong with thousands of children taught in our Hebrew school. This is us. We have celebrated decades of baby naming ceremonies, bar and bat mitzvahs, scores of marriages, some childhood sweethearts from within our own community. This is us. When one is born, we are all parents. When one is lost, we all mourn. When one cuts a finger, we all bleed. When we stumble, we offer a hand of stability. When we travel, we travel together. When we celebrate, we celebrate as one. This is us. We have spent the last 30 days debating whether toilet paper should roll from over or from under. <laughs> This is truly us. <laughs> we have built it. You are here. We are Temple Beth Amuna. This is us. It gives me great pleasure to ask Senator Walter Timothy and Senator Mike Brady to please come forward. Thank you. Oh, excuse me. Thank you all very much. It's truly an honor to be amongst you all today. And besides being a great privilege, you also have put a great smile on my face. <laughs> this is the most vibrant consecra consecration I've ever attended in my career, so I thank you all, and it is a privilege to be here today with, of course, Senator Brady, Representative Cronin, Selectman McIntyre, Selectman Fulginetti, Selectman Fulginetti, pardon me, and, of course, Selectman Barger. But we are very proud of what you have done with your new home. We are very proud to be here today, and we will be very proud to serve and work for you down the road. And I must, we have a citation that uh, Representative Brady and I offered on the State Senate this week honoring you for your new home, Rabbi. And I must wish you all a very happy new year. A very happy new year. And, okay. Senator Brady will now read the citation for us all. Thank you, Senator. And I want to congratulate you. Un unlike those that have gone before us, I know those are not to compare, but there's been a few trials and tribulations to get the new facility open up. And we're very honored to be here as your elected officials. And, we thank you for all your support because none of us do it alone. And unlike what you may hear out of Washington, we work very well together in the State House with both the Senate and the House. Side. There's official citation, be it known that the Massachusetts Senate hereby extends its congratulations to Temple Beth Amuna in recognition of the establishment of your new location in Easton on this momentous occasion of the de dedication ceremony. It's signed by the President of the St Senate, Stanley Rosenberg, the Clerk of the Senate, William Welch, Senator Walter, Walter Timothy, and myself, Mike Brady, and we are very honored and we want to congratulate you. Thank you. Thank you. We've got a world famous photographer here. <laughs> Not as good as Stanley Bowman, but we'll take it. <laughs> Thank you again. It is now my distinct honor to also ask State Representative Claire Cronin to please come forward. Good afternoon. It is my great
pleasure and honor to be here with you today. I remember as a small child, 11 years old, 1971, don't, please don't do the math on that, <laughs> uh, the new Temple Bethamuna opened on the corner of Torrey and Pearl, not far from the home where I grew up. And I remember at the time thinking, this is the most beautiful building I've ever seen. It was new, it was beautiful, state of the art. But the true beauty of Temple Bethamuna was always the strength and the devotion and the faith of its people. So as we are here today, you know, some tw more, 20, 44 years later, uh, 2017, you're in a new home, but you now have the, you have the same strength, faith, and demo devotion to the community that has always been a part of Temple Beth Amuna. So as we go forward and we approach the new year, I wish you Happy New Year in your new home, and thank you once again for allowing me the great privilege to be here with you today. So. On behalf of the House of Representatives, be it hereby known to all that the Mass House of Representatives, where's Rabbi? <laughs> Come on, we gotta do this together. Uh, the Massachusetts House of Representatives offers its sincerest congratulations to Temple Bethamuna <coughs> in recognition of the dedication of your new synagogue building. And the entire membership <coughs> extends its very best wishes and expresses the hope for future good fortune and continued success in all endeavors. And it is signed by the Speaker of the House, Robert DeLeo. So Thank thanks. you so much. And we are delighted that we are, have moved into Easton and therefore would like to ask Kevin McIntyre as one of the selectmen to please come forward to speak on behalf of all the selectmen. Thank you for including me in this uh, highest dedication. It's an honor to be here and I know I speak for my fellow selectmen uh, Craig Barger and Dottie Fulginetti as well. Um, welcome to Easton. If you don't already feel right at home, I hope that comes very soon. Um, one of our priorities as elected officials is economic development. Um, but I know that as humans, and I know that I speak for my fellow selectmen and, and, and perhaps all of the uh, elected officials here, as humans, we know that economic development is second to spiritual development. Um, Easton is a great town, and I'm sure if you don't know that already, you will soon. Um, and we welcome you as an added dimension to that town as an opportunity for people to expand their spirituality. In a world that is marked by divisiveness, there's way too much of that there's not enough spirituality and an another opportunity to worship uh, for the residents of Easton and surrounding communities is welcome. Thank you very much. Congratulations. Matovu Ohalacha Yaakov. How goodly are your tents, O Jacob, your dwelling places, O Israel. Please join me in the singing of this song. Ma tovu oh ha your rabbi is going to be shorter than your president. <laughs> this is amazing. I want to thank all of you for coming and helping to dedicate this space so that it can become our home filled with holiness and spirituality, companionship and community. I would like to ask all those sitting here today to please rise if you have been a member for up to five years. Those of you who are standing, you can sit. No. Uh, <laughs> if you have been a member from zero to five years, 
please stand and remain standing. I'd like to ask all those who have been members for five to ten years to please stand and remain standing. Ten to twenty years. Twenty to thirty. More than thirty years as a member. Look around. Look around. Soak it all in and appreciate what each of you have brought to this community. Okay, you can now sit down. <laughs> this was a dress rehearsal for the High Holy Day services. It is good to know that you all know how to stand and sit when I tell you to. <laughs> Seriously, you are the backbone of the synagogue. While we now have physical walls that help to provide a framework and a structure, the more important foundation is what each of you have brought and bring to the synagogue. And you bring a lot. I have watched as so many of you have labored long and hard to transform this space into our home. I have met with many of you and listened to your ideas and suggestions about how to move forward so that we can re-energize and reinvigorate Temple Beth Amuna. Many of you have met as committees to develop meaningful programs and religious services that will resonate with our congregation. There are members who are calling other members to do inreach and are also reaching out to former members as a way of inviting them back. Your dedication and commitment to the synagogue are what fill, fills these rooms with holiness and sanctity. Your love for Temple Beth Amuna will imbue these halls and spaces with the spirit of community and Yiddishkeit. Your devotion and love is what has kept the synagogue going for so many years, even when there were questions of it remaining in existence. Your preservation, your person, let's try that again, preservation as well as perseverance is what has kept it strong, and it is what will keep it strong. When we finish a book in the Torah and are about to start a new one, we say, Chazak, Chazak, Benit Chazak. Be strong, be strong, and let us summon up our strength. The Sephardim exclaim, Chazak, Ubaruch, be strong and blessed. May we as a congregation be both strong and blessed as we begin this new book in the annals of Temple Beth Amuna. And let us say, Amen. Amen. Please turn to your programs for the responsive reading. By having set the mezuzah on the doorpost of the entrance and placing the Torah scrolls into the ark, May this space become a holy and sacred space, the new home of Temple Beth Amuna, a sanctuary inscribed by Torah, blessed by God. May it welcome those who have cares to unburden, thanks to express, hopes to nurture. May Temple Beth Amuna be a gathering place for all to come and be welcomed and sustained spiritually, emotionally, and through companionship and community. And may its doors always be open and lead to a rich and meaningful prayer life to build a strong Jewish identity and to create community. And let us all say together, Baruch Atah Adonai Eloheinu Melech Olam. Shechianu, Vikiyamanu, Vigianu, Lazman Hazer. Mazel Tov.
Baby, tell me, oh, you have a little 